And I always said my mother gave the greatest advice. Yeah, look at me now, they look at me like the golden child. Can't nobody home. What up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. You know what it is? It's your boy Taz on Flipped, man. You know what it is? It's your boy. It's your boy. Monday morning, getting to it, getting to it, getting to it, man. Um, this is gonna be a dope video, man. I'm excited about this video. I, you know, I had a little vision, you know, this morning. I feel like a lot of my greatest thoughts on what I do come in the shower. It's, it's crazy as it sounds. Um, I feel like a lot of my greatest ideas I do or I have or my, my ideas I have, they come in the shower, man. Like, um, I'm always in the shower, like, doing my daily regimen, scrubbing my face, doing what I'm doing. I'm thinking, like, man, you know, um, what is the... What is the flip side of making these videos? Making sure I'm giving the audience a good video. So, um, actually, I was actually what, what's crazy is I was you know doing my it's Monday, so I'm taking care of real estate stuff. Sometimes real estate, I'm not gonna lie, it can be stressful, and not only due to the there's so many moving parts from escrow to your lender to the client to yourself to your brokerage there's so many different moving parts in real estate and it can get very 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 um if the if the communication is not important in who you're dealing with it can, it can get very sticky and very ugly and that's a part that nobody talks about right there's a lot of underlining things in real estate that you that people don't even talk about like everyone just oh man y'all man y'all y'all make hella money man hey y'all 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 real estate man y'all make hella money yeah but there's a reason why they get paid a decent amount of money but you got to take into account accountability, man. There's splits with your brokerage. See, I'm me. I'm tasked those houses. I work for myself. I don't, I was, I have worked for other brokerages. Um, well, not, you don't work for, you never work for a brokerage, but you're an, you in a, you're an affiliate of a brokerage. And I have been partnered with another brokerage. A couple of them, Keller Williams, EXP, Windermere. Um, and now I'm with Skyline. 100% commission. And I like, all of them had like, different nucleuses that I liked, like, there was things about Keller Williams that I loved, and there was things about Keller Williams that I hated, there was things about EXP that I loved, there was things about EXP that I hated, things about Windermere that I loved, things about Windermere that I hated, and um, I just took upon myself, I bet on myself, you know what I'm saying, I'm like, I'm going all in on myself, I'm going to just put my money up, I'm probably not going to close as many transactions as others who are getting leads from their managing brokers or whatever, or their designated brokers, but I'm going to bet on Tasman Holloway that I'm going to do what I got to do. And I'm getting 100% commission. Like Nipsey said, I'm doing all money in, no money out. And that was important to me. That was a deterring factor of why I made the decision I made to go to uh, Skyline. But when you're doing transactions, you got to make sure that, like I said, there's so many moving parts, of, so many moving parts of the business that everyone just thinks, oh, you guys make a lot of money. And um, sometimes you have to troubleshoot your business deals with your clients. With um, I've seen even in my transactions, a lot of things that have went, ooh, they out today, boy. Ooh, wait. Um, I've seen a lot of things that have kind of like went wrong in um, transactions, whether it be like my last deal. My shout out to my TC, uh, uh, Sheila Perry. Like, um, she was under the impression that this home had a, a, a um, it was on sewer. It was actually on septic, and we had to cover our asses on that one and get that, make sure everything was right. I ended up, and everything I, I always offer my clients on every transaction I offer as Hassel's houses. I offer everybody a home warranty for the first year. So um, you get a home warranty. And so um, that's my incentive to all my buyers. You know what I'm saying? If you buy from me, you get a home warranty. And um, I think that's so cool. So, you know, um, man, you know, just taking care of my business, man. Um, and I love it, man. Um, I love what I do. It, it, it does get stressful at times. Sometimes I'm like, man, why did I choose to go into real estate, man? Like, you know, um, but I had a conversation with some other guys that are in real estate yesterday. And they always come to me for like, you know, some uh some motivational advice because i tell everybody man everybody got some looking at man it's going slow yeah it, but if you can't do one thing be consistent like that's the only bro i remember when i only had like on my main channel i only had like i think i had like maybe a hundred subscribers i was getting like five views and i was still posting you know what i'm saying i didn't i didn't care like i was posting like i didn't care what how many views i was getting i just all i could think to myself was you got to keep posting because if these other guys can get millions of subscribers and millions of views you can do it too. And that that was all that mattered to me. It didn't matter about how many views I was getting. It mattered to me about staying consistent in what I was doing with YouTube because I believed in YouTube that much. And so I think when I, I figured that part of, of it out, I just knew that I had to stay focused on the business and I, and I did it. And I, I think I applied that to everything, even in the barbershop. Like, um, 
I went from having multiple barbershops. Um, but, you know, even then, I remember before I owned the barbershop, like I had to work in a barbershop to get my clientele up. And um, you just, you just got to be consistent. Man, there is a lot of police out. It must be like vice day. Or I, just, I, I made it four exits and I've seen at least five people pulled over. They are out deep today. Um, but yeah, let me get over it. I ain't, I ain't trying to be in the middle of nothing. nothing. I ain't supposed to be in the middle of it. Um, but yeah, I just feel like, you know, um, even in the barber business, I just always applied the same. Even when I did music, I, I think you got to be consistent. Um, the moment you get off the gas, that's when you fail. And so I explained to my guys, man, you guys just got to keep being consistent, man. Keep keep doing open houses. Keep promoting yourself on social media. Keep hustling. Keep rocking. Keep rolling. Um, and that's what's going to get you to the next level, man. I think it's more so about, you know, um, just being in people's faces and just and having the proper knowledge and, again, the proper communication. Because then, like, you know, over the weekend, I, I had picked up three new buyers. Um, and gave them over to Kelly's. Which out to Kelly Smith. Um, my lender, she's a fucking animal when it comes to doing the lending side of, of business she's a fucking animal and i love her for that and so we're going to keep working with kelly and I, I you know i've had other lenders try to come swoop me up oh i do better i she's top one percent originator for a reason and she specializes in va loans so um i love that about kelly man she's a hustler man and um, we made some money together we're gonna continue to make money together but real estate is not easy man and um and i'm proud of myself to be able to break the family curse and do this you know what i'm saying and it, it wasn't easy and um, i don't really care about people's opinions or people giving me smirks or people hating on me and shit i don't really give a damn because i've done something that no one that in my immediate family was able to do um i remember like it's even in my book if you haven't already go uh, buy my book on amazon right now hustle the whole way um you know it, it speaks in the book man i remember the guy that i looked up to was my uncle kenny um you know he wasn't in my immediate family but it was like my mom's brother you know what i'm saying and like um she, you know she was getting money in the streets and shit you know what i'm saying and i remember like you know um watching those guys make money in real estate so for me to break the family curse and, and do this and be where i'm at right now and the level i'm at i'm a proud of myself but but it, it it takes a lot of discipline everything requires discipline if you want to make have results and so you can try to uh, insinuate where well, I'm just going to do it because the internet said it was easy. You know, a lot of those guys on the internet are lying to you guys. All that guru shit pulling up in Lamborghinis and, and then they start. They no one started at five or a hundred. Everyone starts at zero. You got to get out here. You got to grind. You got to be consistent. You got to you got to make a name for yourself. And I, I hate to say it, man. People people hate on me all the time, but you know they know what I do. They know who I am. And they know what I got going on. They know what I got cooking in the kitchen for the most part. But you know. Um, you just got to be in people's faces, man, and be consistent. And um, I love that. And I think real estate has done that for me. It's allowed me to be consistent to people, man. And um, I told myself, man, if I sold one house, I was happy, man. And I, I blew past my goal. So anything else on the charts, is, it's, just, it's just profit. You know what I mean? Because I, I could sell one house. Shit, I felt the test uh, a lot of times. You know, I never gave up, though, man. I, I would never give up. I feel like I'm a different kind of hustler. And that's one thing I admire about myself is that, you know, I'm a different type of hustler. I haven't met nobody like me in my life, and I probably will never meet nobody like, like me in my life. And um, I commend myself for the bravery, you know what I'm saying, more than anything. You know, um, the barber business is just as, just as deadly. You know, right now you got, I and mean, I'm seeing it firsthand, man. I'm seeing it firsthand. Like, it seems like the barber community is being taken over by the Hispanics in the and the, and the Arabs, man, I'm even seeing, you know, not being racist, I'm even seeing these white barbers. Shout out to Big Blends. These guys, is, I just seen dude cutting Tom Brady's hair. So, um, yeah, man, it, 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 you got to be consistent, man. There's a lot of people that are in these business fields that are getting to the bag, man. And, and if you, man, I chose to come out here the wrong day. It's packed. But if you want to be involved in any of this business stuff, you, you, you got you got to lock in and you got you got you got to know what you're doing man and you got to, you got to get to it because man ain't nobody coming out here to save you man and, and and it's real right now i'm seeing it like even clients i i i am so grateful that i have the clients that i have and people that rock with me because that's why you got to be consistent because i got so many elements pulling me away from the clients that potentially want to be clients because not in in a bad factor but there's so many barbershops like when i started cutting hair there was no barbershops, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could just pull up um, and there was a few people coming. I think back in the day, bar being a barber was kind of corny to people. Like, people didn't even respect barbers. Um, I kind of got my name from rapping. You know, I was rapping and, and cutting hair, so I kind of like 
had a different approach about it. I was doing it more on a level of, I just, I just figured, hey, I'm about to, I like music, I'm, I like cars, I'm about to take this kind of approach with it, and um, and I ran with that, and and it worked, and so that's how I built my name in the barber game, um, and and just so happens that, um, uh, you know, um, uh, I I had developed a great clientele. A lot of my clients, I think they come to me for more than a haircut. I think they really rock with me, um just for the, the the business sense the advice the game they've seen my adversity i done overcame they didn't seen it all and so i think people really fall in love with that the haircut is obviously always going to be nice i do want to open a new shop um, i'm working on that behind the scenes with my people man like we're working on that but um you know i just think that you just got to be consistent man you know and you just got to always think about that i do it in real estate i do it in the bar business i do it in any business like, even when i was in the turtle business you know what i'm saying and um you know, anything I'm in, I got my hands in, like even when I get into my restaurants, I, I want to always um, rectify consistency, man. I think that's the most key ingredient that people don't understand, man. That, that shit is like the, the, the ultimate. That's the only thing that's got me to survive. I, I can all say that. Like, you got to be consistent. You know, do you want to lose weight? Go to the gym. You can't go once and be like, well, you know, I didn't lose no weight. You got to go every day. The results is what you're going for. And if you're consistent, those results will pay off. So, um, you know. Make sure you guys do what you got to do, man, in this life, man, and have fun with it, man, and don't let nobody tell you otherwise, man. Get your money, do your thing, have fun, hustle, be a boss, and and, 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 and just and just go after it, man. Through the bumps, the bruises, the ups, I've been through every emotion in this game, in barbering and in real estate, and I'm new in real estate, and, and it, it's rough. I've, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't had, I didn't, I didn't had a moment where I didn't sell a house for 10 months, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, and I, but every day, guess what I was doing? Making phone calls, making videos, shooting reels, um, put my name out there, going to meetups, going to going to uh, events for uh, real estate meetings. You know what I'm saying? Meeting people, and people know who I am. I'm Tasman Holloway. You know what I'm saying? Uh, boosting my social media, man. And, and just what happens? God was on my side, man. I had a video that I posted, man. That joint went so viral. That is the that that video that I post on Instagram. It blew me up. It like it like blew me out the water. Like I, millions of views. And then um and it was an accident too. I was just joking around. And then I had another video I did. Um, um, what's the other video I did? I did another video too. Oh yeah, I did nine haircuts, thirty minutes. And that video blew up in the barber business. So I feel like you just gotta be consistent. Shoot your reels. Be consistent. The algorithm will grab you. I promise you it will. But let me watch this car. And then I'll tap back at y'all in a second, man. In a second, man. But man, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. I, I'm doing my Monday thing. I'm hitting the gym now. Um, I'm on phone calls. I've been in meetings already. I'm getting things done. We getting checks cut. All type of stuff going on. And then we got to meet with some clients here in a little bit. And um, if you can't do anything, man, be consistent, man. It's your boy Tasma Holloway. It's the Flip Channel. If you haven't already, go to my main channel, Tasma Holloway, and subscribe to that one as well. But I'm gonna see y'all in a second, man. Let me get this car wash because I got I got Yingy's car all dirty at this open house. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna give y'all a little tour of the house right now. Peace. <laughs> What up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So, you know what it is. It's your boy. It's your boy. Beautiful, beautiful home we are at today out in Shelton, Washington. Um, phenomenal home on a little bit over three acres of land. Phenomenal, 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 phenomenal home. Four bed, um, two and a half bath. Um, like I said, over a little bit over 3.2 acres. Um, great home. Bring you guys inside. Check out the, check out the, first of all, check out all the trees around the home. Check out all this. This, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful home. Um, you got your RV parking space. You can have your RV out here if you want to, you know what I'm saying? Maybe go camping. And obviously, you are in um, a little bit from Ocean Shores, some areas where you can go camping, do things like that. Big lot in the backyard. Um, it's itself is about 2,600, a little over 2,600 square feet. So it's a pretty big size home. From the outside looking in, it is a Rambler. But from the outside looking in, when we step inside this home, this is a beautiful home. Let's check it out, you guys. Come on, let's go. matters because at the end of the day you want to be able to be in the right position and somebody's protecting your money um i understand rates are a little high right now but there's everything to do to work around that you have to work with the right person and you got to make sure you're making the right decision you know a home like this is for a special somebody so you know it's a nice home i love it beautiful um 
if y'all shut and watch this, continue watching this video. It's your boy, it's your boy, it's your boy. Phenomenal home. And we're gonna be looking at a lot more of these and shout out to the listing agent on this, Christian. I appreciate you. Me and her have been working on some projects for her home she has listed. So I'm just trying to add some uh, value to her property. So I'll see y'all later. What up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Know what it is? It's your boy. Um, early grind, man. Early grind. About to go hit the gym. Um, then what else? I got shaking like bacon. Let me see. Let me see. What I got shaking like bacon. I got lunch with Yin Yin on the back end, man. Take Yin Yin out to go get some lunch in a second. Um, right now I'm running errands. I gotta head down to my office. Take care of some real estate stuff. Uh, let me catch that light. Let me, I gotta get some gas, man. Is gas? Am I the only one that is offended by the gas prices? I'm just saying. I'm like, man, um, I kind of miss my Tesla, my Tesca, because um, the gas has been gas has been chewing. But then again, I am in a V, a V. Well, I'm in a V8 by Turbo, so this joint, it's like this joint. It just, it just, it just chews through gas. Like it just, it just insane. Like this joint just chews through gas. So. um Man, what I don't want to live off on this vlog, man, because I'm gonna wrap this vlog up right now. But um, you know, grinding and doing what you gotta do in, these, in this business, man. Just make sure you always, I say it, I'm gonna say it in all my videos, man. Just stay consistent. If you can't do anything, just stay consistent. Um, in the last couple days, I've probably reached, I've had five buyers reach out to me. And I just signed up for a, um, a VA class. So I'm about to be specializing with Kelly and um, VA loans. Kelly's already Ke Kelly's already a beast in VA loans, my lender. So um, now, I'm, I, you know, she's like, Taz, you got to get on it. So I got to get on it for real. Like I got to um, get this VA, these VA classes for all my VA clients, all my military guys out there, man. Shout out to my boy, Kerry, too. Um, if, you, if you haven't already, you guys, Make sure that if you are an ex-military um, retired man, use your VA loan and go buy you some real estate. Um, this is serious business, man. Uh, the market is in favor of those with VA loans right now. So, um, man, I used to have my friend that lived right there, Becky and me. Um, real estate is so important, man. It's just crazy how important it is. And you know, I'm just trying to do my little my little part. I, you know. And, and educate my people. Oh, I can't go straight. Oh, I can't go straight. Can't I? Um, and um, helping people do what they gotta do, man. At the end of the day, man, I want to help everybody do what they gotta do. Um, real estate is a good thing, and you don't gotta be an agent to be successful in real estate. Um, as long as you can invest in real estate, you're gonna be Gucci. You're gonna be straight. You feel me? So, um, man, take that into consideration, man. Let me get to the gas station. I'm probably going to end up wrapping this video up. If I don't, then I don't. If I do, then I do. But I will see you. <laughs> it's your boy. It's your boy. Listen, man. Let me let me let y'all hear the turbos in this thing, man. Let me let y'all hear the... Hear, let me let y'all hear this girl. She be go talking crazy, man. Talk, talk to him, girl. Talk to him. That wasn't even the one, y'all. Yeah. Let me get Yin Yin right. I'm gonna have to get Yin Yin some. So you feel me? Let me get it right, y'all. Let me see which way I wanna go at this back end. Which way I wanna go at this back end. Loves to talk to me. Look at that girl talk. Look at that girl talk. Look at that girl talk. She, the car talking, I talk back. All right, y'all. Well, let me get some gas. 
and get up out of here, man, and do what I do best and keep it moving. I will see y'all in a second on the next vlog, or I'll see y'all in a second, man. Peace.